Hey everybody, welcome back to Creepy Places New England. We're now in Montpelier, we're at Vermont College, and we're going to be heading towards a place called College Hall, which is supposedly another place that's haunted. And uh, like I said, it's a beautiful day, love Vermont, and I wish I lived here. I haven't really come across anything strange yet though. Turkeys and the babies, get off the road! Oh, oh, Jesus Christ, make up your freaking mind. Oh, they're so cute. <laughs> I always wondered who's who's. who's oh, there comes the other ones. Who's always wonder who's leading? Is the mother or the father? Oh, there's one struck. And who's, oh, jeez, I keep crying. <laughs> I don't believe it. They're so cute. You can't run them over. They just keep going. Luckily, we're not on a busy road either. Well, this is College Hall at Vermont College. This is also known as Vermont College of Fine Arts. Now, the story of this place is the place is haunted because uh, in the late 1800s, a girl in one of the towers, tower like that, it's actually a couple others on the side, uh, was killed. Uh, a security, and now I guess years later, a security guard was taking a group of students into the towers, and one of the girls' left side went numb go around more. Uh, supposedly, now, the, the story goes that there was an autopsy of, uh, of, the, of the girl who died in one of the towers, and supposedly they discovered that her body went numb on the left side because she was shot behind the ear. Now, there's some discrepancy in the legends. For one thing, the legend says the building was built in 1830. The college here was established in 1831, but this building was not built until 1872 when it was known as, when it was a seminary known as Vermont Methodist Conference. Now before we continue more of the paranormal, I want to give you more of the history of this place. This hilltop is known as Seminary Hill. Uh, it was chosen by the Methodists in 1866 and it already contained a racetrack, a ferry ground, and a building of a Civil War hospital for the chronically ill. Now there's a bunch of little old buildings around here. Now, like I said, this building uh, was was uh, built in 1872. Now, the Vermont Junior College at the time, in 1936, began sharing, sharing it with the se uh, seminary until 1947. And now, like I said, Vermont Junior College became uh, Vermont College when it, was, when it was reorganized in 1958. By the way, this is a very small college. Now we're going in, just to take a look around. National Registry of Historical Places, this is pretty cool. Supposedly, and we're going to see if it works, that if you're walking in here, you're going to feel someone blowing behind your ears, and there is an old pipe organ around here, and um, supposedly you can hear pipe organs being played. Here's an art gallery room, but there's no one here, and obviously they're redoing the place. Like It's summertime, the place is not really open. Still have a feel of anyone blowing behind our hair, and we haven't heard any pipe organs. Well, sorry for the low light, and so I might use pictures, but here is the organ that supposedly will play. And so if there's anyone in here, please feel free to play the organ for us. Well, like I said, we're on the second floor. There's no one really here. Pretty cool, huh? So I'm just going to ask some questions. <clears throat>
on back on the outside, there's one of the other towers. There's another one over there. It's a little bit harder to see because of the trees. That one looks a little bit eerie. It almost feels like we're being watched from that one. But there are when well, we were in, we were already inside, and there were people on the third and fourth floor. So get your education, kids. Well, I was uh, under the impression this place was called Vermont College, but now I'm seeing it's called the Community College of Vermont. I'm beginning to wonder if they maybe changed the name very recently. Well, we're all done with our little adventure in Montpelier, and we got some true Vermont hospitality. A speeding ticket from a redneck. They might be Vermont, but there's plenty of rednecks everywhere. Never going to Groton again.